What is up, YouTube? It's Zenazor here. Today I have a video for you doing the first part of my gaming series build. So this is going to be uh, just the external build right now. Not going to be something super awesome like actually putting it in. Just going to be what I had time to do today. All I had time to do really today was just to uh, externally assemble it, test it, go into BIOS, configure a little bit, and uh, that's basically what I got to do. So right now, what in front of me, I have the uh, just the aftermarket cooler for the uh, CPU, so I have, I believe, I have all the parts that I used in my previous video that went over all my parts, but this is just an um, Cooler Master Hyper 212, and so there you have the heat sink and the fan itself, um, it's fairly large actually. Um, right there you see the thermal paste, and I also have extra Noctua thermal paste, but I ended up using both because I messed up one time, so I had to redo it but uh, pretty basic right there. So this is what you get in the parts, you get brackets, you get all that stuff, uh, most of it you're gonna need, uh, and then that's the Noctua. It's a little bit larger and I did find that it was a lot more difficult to squeeze out the thermal paste from the Noctua than the uh, Cooler Master one. So just a side note and it wasn't too easy. And here you have the little bracket you're gonna put on the underside of your motherboard and that's going to secure it down in place and that is going to go right there onto the heatsink and it's going to work pretty well so here you have the heatsink itself it's fairly large um, I have to say I had a very hard time getting it to fit with the RAM it was one of the most uh, challenging things of this build getting the RAM to fit especially with that almost the same with fan it was pretty difficult but I did manage it one thing I recommend you guys is have a screwdriver with interchangeable screw heads so that you can uh, easily get into all those screws because there are quite a bit of different ones and uh, you're gonna have a lot of screwing in to do so you might want to get that or have a bunch of different screwdrivers so I sped this up for you guys because uh, I did have to um, turn a little bit, tweak it, because it wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to. Sure, I got it to fit, but I just didn't want it to come out that way. And there you see the head of someone, and no, that's not me, that's my dad, because uh, he was helping. So that's my dad and me, we're both doing the build, because uh, he has a lot of experience, and I don't have a lot of experience, so he helped out a little bit, and... Um, that's basically what happened here. You're going to see a lot more of me building it once I get everything and put it inside the case. But for here, this was more of the crucial parts. So we decided to have him uh, assemble it mainly and I would help in slight bits. But basically, I was just filming it and getting the right angles and trying to capture it all so you guys could see. So screwing it in, we have those little uh, screws that come in and they're secured on the back and it's a tedious process I have to say um, I did find that it was almost every time I tried it and I think I had to unscrew it a couple times this is fast forwarded and on top of being fast forwarded this is only one of the clips I think at least five times I screwed it in and it was not even it was not flush it was like sitting sideways and I just didn't want that to happen because if that was in a case and that just fell apart that would not be good so I had to perfect it so that it worked well but um, that's basically what we're going for uh, as far as the uh, bolts holding it down. So the next part is going to come up in a couple of seconds. And uh, right here, the Noctua, we're going to be applying the thermal paste. Uh, this, as I said, was not too easy because it just felt really dense. Uh, so I don't recommend you guys buy just this specific one. I bought it not knowing it would be this difficult, but it was extremely difficult. And it's not that I was applying little force, it's just that it just doesn't come out easily. So I had to uh, cope with that. I had to squeeze it really hard, and it wasn't that good of a process. It wasn't as fluid as the Cooler Master 1, so that's just something to consider. Plus the fact that the Cooler Master 1 comes with the actual... Uh, cooler. The only reason I had to use the Noctua one was because I screwed it up and the heat levels are off. So that's why I had to do it. So there you see me mounting it, or rather my dad mounting it, but I guess I helped out eventually. And then we're going to screw it in, and this is a pretty easy part. Just one thing to remember is that you might want to do um, opposite sides, so diagonally, that's kind of like a rule of thumb. Do opposite sides first, and that 
is usually something you want to do when you're building a computer. And this is also sped up. I think it was sped up at least. And um, it's basically how it goes. And at the end of the day, it's not coming loose. So uh, don't tighten it too tight. Just tighten it to the right uh, level so that it stays in. If you tighten it too tight, it might also bring off some other bolts with it if you try to loosen it. So then, uh, this was the part where we attach the RAM. This is fast forwarded. I know I'm getting the wrong angle, but I do flip it around eventually. So this is the RAM, and you can kind of see the sights down it. Uh, the sights are why it's called the sniper RAM. So it's kind of like a sight. Some aesthetic looks. One thing I have to say about that is that it's not too easy to fit um, a large cooler next to those, especially because I'm using all four RAM slots. I utilized all my RAM. I have 16 gigs in here. This thing is going to fly like a beast, but uh, it's not going to, it wasn't easy to get the fan in because of that. So when you consider buying your RAM, make sure uh, it's going to suit your needs because if you have a large fan cooler like I did, you might have to make some compromises like ex spending a lot of time, more time than necessary on applying it. So I had to spend an extra 20 minutes figuring out how to do this. Um, but that's what it looks like. Um, I mean, aesthetically, it looks awesome, and if I were to open up my case, people would probably compliment it. But for everyday use, uh, regular RAM, RAM is fine. You don't need anything tricked out like what I did. I just got it because it was on a nice deal, but it was pretty nice, so I got it anyway. And the sniper logo and the sniper sights definitely do make it look pretty cool. So over here, we have everything finished. Um, there you can see that there is some gap and that is before I added the uh, fan so I'm just showing you guys what it looks like before you add the fan and there's very limited room that is actually less room than the fan is considering the width of it so I had to bend the RAM a little bit and then uh, it did work eventually but it is a very tight fit when you think about it and uh, right there this looks actually pretty good uh, looks pretty clean uh, because there are basically no cables but it from the off the bat it looks pretty clean already so then this is how the fan will go on so I found that it almost required every time two people because it has little finger hooks that you have to pull out and there are four of them and they're kinda hard to grip because uh, I have small hands so they're kinda hard to grip all together but it's not too bad when you have two people and then you can just shift it down and that's how I was able to get it to fit now it is slightly raised but it does fit and that is just cable management so here you see this is the uh, graphics card this is the uh, 5960 from uh, AMD uh, the ATI Radeon and this is uh, the Sapphire version this is just the one I got off Newegg as I said I do have all the lists of the parts and the links and all that in my other video so if you guys want some people already asked me this today and I uploaded the video today but if you want you can go check those out one person even purchased that already after I told them about it so that's how it's gonna work and uh, that's the Radeon HD 6950 so I didn't show you guys mounting it because I my head was in the way the whole time and I couldn't really mount it any other way so you see the four ports you got the DP the HDMI the DVI and the VGA and those will all allow you to have high quality uh, video imaging, all that stuff. I don't even know what I'm saying, but uh, that will just allow you to utilize all the ports. Um, I'm most likely going to end up using uh, DVI or, and HDMI, so to have my two screens and then possibly a third screen. So this is the Seasonic 750-watt um, modular power supply. I don't need something like a thousand watts because I'm building a gaming machine, but I'm not building like a super outgoing gaming machine. And uh, here are all the spark, uh, all the parts, all the stuff that's inside of it. And while I'm unboxing it, I do want to show you guys that, um, uh, tell you guys that I did buy all my parts on Black Friday. So if you guys are wondering how I was able to afford this, considering the fact that I'm a kid, uh, I didn't actually. Uh, for this, I wouldn't have been able to afford this if it was not Black Friday because Black Friday took hundreds of dollars off this. Uh, something that would be like sixteen thousand uh, dollars. I mean, one point six thousand dollars, so one thousand six hundred dollars. Uh, only cost me around a thousand two hundred, and I do have a bunch of rebates that I still have to send in. But uh, really, that was an awesome, awesome deal. So here you see a ton of cables. Like this is just a bunch of cables. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty decked out.
power supply. They give you a bag. They give you like bags for everything. I'd say that's a really really nice. You got like some kind of gold look to it. Uh, I really like it. I have to compliment them on that because that was some nice finishing touches on it. And there you see my floor, but in a couple of seconds you'll see what is in the rest of the box. So there you have just a pamphlet. Want to read that? I think that was one of my rebates that I had over there, so I'll have to send that in later. And then you have this really nice bag that they give you. So they really go all out with this thing. Uh, they get that's the uh, cable to plug into your wall outlet, but they go all out. They give you carrying bags and make it all professional. I love the look of this. It's black and gold, so it looks awesome. Uh, the power supply itself, not too large, and um, as far as power supplies goes, once you take it out of the bag and all that, it's just a pretty normal power supply. Once again, it is modular, and uh, it will uh, only turn on the fans if it detects that the temperature requires it to, so that's a nice feature about this. So that's the important notice that you guys might want to read if you purchase this. More cables in the back. And uh, that's basically it for the power supply. I'm going to be showing you it later in the video. So that's basically it. You got the plugs, on off switch, and then Seasonic logo. So here we have me connecting all of the cables from the power supply to all the stuff on the motherboard. So plugging that one over there into the motherboard. And then uh, the ones, I already plugged in the ones to the, uh, to the graphics card, uh, but I just plugged that. I did this a little reverse. I plugged it into the graphics card first, then plugged it into the power supply. And here, all the way in the back of the motherboard, plugging this one in, and then that's going all the way back here. So this is what it looks like, uh, an external build. This is what the external build looks like. Uh, it's fairly small. It's going to be a, a lot of room left once I put it in the case. As you can see there, that's mounted all nice and well. The cables are fairly large, but I'll do some cable management once I put it in the case. So there you see the uh, basically every component I'm going to be using. This is mainly the brains of my whole operation inside my computer. So then I'm going to be plugging in my mouse and my keyboard so that once I get into the BIOS interface, I can uh, just use them as I would. And uh, here you have the power supply. I'm going to plug in the uh, connector. So this is going to go to my wall now. And now it has power. Flip up the switch. There are no indicators on the uh, power supply, but you can click the power button on my specific motherboard, and then that will light up, and now you see the screen, and uh, this is going to go into BIOS. So click F1, run setup, we're going to go into BIOS, and this should be uh, pretty easy from then on. So 45 degrees Celsius, 44, I think that's a little bit high, so I'm going to have to work on what was happening on my computer, and... Um, like 20 something degrees of the uh, system itself so uh, the BIOS is a pretty nice interface I have to say uh, MSI did a good job on that uh, BIOS so this is like click BIOS 2 or whatever so while I'm doing this I'll go ahead and take the time to explain to you guys what is going to be happening uh, for future builds so once I am done assembling this I am going to release all my other videos unfortunately after Monday uh, today is Saturday the uh, 21st, but unfortunately after Monday of this week, I won't be able to build anything until Friday because I'm going to have a really tight schedule, and then after that I will resume building. So this is basically what you're getting for the week. You guys can go check this out. I say this is a pretty good tutorial. You guys can learn a lot from this. You guys probably learned a lot on how to mount stuff. Hopefully you did at least. So there you see my temperatures, but um, that's basically what I'm going to be doing for this week. I'd say you can expect at least two more parts of this series. One of those is going to be putting it in the case, and then one of them is going to be software. So uh, with that, guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Go check out my uh, other videos. Go check out my parts, and um, peace.